I once read a story about a teenage boy who was playing basketball with his buddies. And in the course of the game, his contact got knocked out of his eye. So all of his friends stopped in their tracks and began very gingerly to walk off the court and then get down on their hands and knees, pressing their faces close to the ground to see if they could find the contact lens. After about an hour of looking with no success, the young teenager went inside and he told his mother what had happened. And the mother marched out the door to the basketball court. Two minutes later, she walked in with the contact lens. And the son was shocked and he said, Mom, we've looked for an hour and couldn't find it. How did you do that? It's easy to understand, son, the mom replied. You were looking for a piece of plastic. I was looking for $200. Your perspective in life matters. Welcome to Life Words Day by Day. And what we find in today's text is a test on our perspective of obedience. Your perspective of obedience matters, and we need a godly one. God, in Judges chapter 6, has assigned Gideon a mission, a test of obedience. Destroy the idols in your home. Listen to what it says in Judges chapter 6, verse 25. Take your father's bull and the second bull, seven years old, and Pull down the altar of Baal that your father has and cut down the Asherah that is beside it and build an altar to the Lord your God on the top of the stronghold here with stones laid in due order. Do you know how much of a test this was? Destroy your father's idols? It's not that surprising that Joash, Gideon's father, had an altar to a false god. And we learn from the text that Gideon was aware of Israel's God because he knew of the great acts of God in the past. And he most likely learned those from his father. It's not that Israel had replaced God with idol worship so much as they had combined idol worship with the worship of God. They had a formality of worshiping God, but in their practical, daily, functional lives, they worshiped the false agricultural gods or the commerce idols. In our day, it's the same thing. Beauty idols, business idols, comfort idols, success idols, power idols. All of these compete for loyalty and obedience in your life. But listen, the Israelites will never be able to throw off the oppression of the Midianites until they throw off the idolatry among them. It's not feasible to think that God is going to rescue you out of your obvious problems time and again until we see the idols of our heart and remove them. So Gideon is essentially being told here to let everyone know who the true Lord is. Let everyone know where your allegiance lies with this Lord. Let everyone know who your boss is. Destroy the false gods and build an altar to the Lord. This is faith in action. This is obedience. Gideon is hesitant a bit and he's fearful, but he's called upon to make his allegiance known in real life. And this is what Israel is going to need to do to decide who the boss really is. Jesus says it this way, you can't serve two masters. You will either love the one and hate the other, or you will serve the one and despise the other. You cannot serve God in money. Today, please pray for John Herring and his family, our missionaries in Missouri. Also, remember the Vi Life Word broadcast that's heard in Liberia and Sierra Leone.